Hey guys, back again with another SpaceX Starship update. As usual, a lot of work is happening at virtually all of SpaceX facilities right now. SpaceX has a lot of work to do in the coming weeks to meet some of the company's projected deadlines. Mark 1's 20km test in which it will demonstrate its skydiver maneuver may take place as early as the end of December. The Crew Dragon static fire test is imminent, and so is SpaceX's launch of Starlink 1. As usual, SpaceX has a lot of work on its hands, so let's dive right in and take a closer look at what's happening this week. SpaceX Starship Updates Last week, the week of October 27th to November 2nd, we saw a lot happen in terms of Mark 1 development. On Wednesday, October 30th, 2019, the lower tank section of Starship Mark 1 was transported via roll lift from the build site to the launch site. Since then, SpaceX fans have been eagerly waiting for the upper section of Mark 1 to arrive at the launch site and join the tank section. Well, with road closures at Boca Chica Beach scheduled for Thursday and Friday of this week, November 7th and 8th, and another planned for November 12th, we could expect that the move may happen this week. Forward fin and canard installation. On Friday, November 1st, 2019, the first canard and forward flap was reinstalled. The process took just about two hours. About three days later, on November 4th, the second canard was reinstalled. The second canard installation took a matter of minutes. This is a demonstration of just how quickly SpaceX iterates applying lessons learned to future vehicle development. Compared to the previous process of Cronard installation that we saw back in September though, this version of Cronard installation altogether took a little bit longer. If you recall, back in September, when Starship was being assembled for Elon's Starship presentation, both canards were installed in just a few hours. One notable difference between the Starship display assembly and this reassembled version of Mark 1 is the addition of an incredibly large actuator. The actuators will be extremely instrumental in terms of the demonstration of Mark 1's skydiver maneuver, where Starship must rapidly augment its control surfaces in an attempt to rapidly break in the atmosphere and orient itself correctly for landing. This is a move that SpaceX has to nail in order to have a vehicle that will one day land on the surface of Mars. Now that the fire fins have both been installed and finishing touches are being added to the upper section, it shouldn't be too long before the upper section is transported to the launch site. We could probably also expect testing on the tank section and a wet dress rehearsal coming up soon. Now over to Florida. In Florida, things are really shaping up for the eventual testing of Mark II. Pad 39A goes vertical. On November 4, 2019, Julia Bergeron released some new photos from developments at Pad 39A. From the photos, it now appears that launch mount is currently being installed at the site. On the same day, a new photo was also released that shows the progress being made at SpaceX's Roberts Road facility. The roads are now being paved. The construction of the launch mount at Historic Pad 39A really puts things into perspective in terms of what SpaceX is doing. Just to imagine the full Starship Super Heavy stack being launched perhaps in the coming months from not just one but two locations, Texas and Florida, just gives you a sense of just how much innovation SpaceX is really driving in the space industry. The pace at which SpaceX does all of it is still quite compelling and interesting to watch. Crew Dragon Updates Crew Dragon Parachute Test and Static Fire Test. And that's not all SpaceX has on its plate. And on November 4th, the company announced via Twitter that it had recently completed 13 successful tests in a row of its now upgraded Mark III parachutes for Crew Dragon. According to SpaceX, the most recent test demonstrated the parachute system's ability to land the spacecraft safely in the unlikely event of one of the four main chutes failing. According to an article in Spacenews.com, the most recent test shown in the video was conducted on October 31st, while the 12 successful successive tests were completed in just about a week. On the night of November 4th, Elon broke his four-day absence from Twitter to congratulate the SpaceX Dragon team and the team at Airborne. He also clarified that SpaceX has only done one multi-parachute test with nine more left to go, so the other 12 successful tests were conducted with a single parachute. If you remember, back on October 10th, at a press conference held at SpaceX facilities in Hawthorne, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein had stated that NASA was looking for consistent, repeatable performance in terms of Mark III parachute testing. Bridenstine also stated that we could see as many as 10 drop tests from that date to the end of the year. He also mentioned that data from Mark II parachutes could be used to help qualify Mark III, as long as there is consistent, repeatable performance. As long as we see consistent, repeatable performance. 
repeatable performance that matches that of Mark II. With the successful completion of the recent test and more parachute testing planned for the coming weeks, if not days, SpaceX seems to be rapidly moving in the right direction. Rapidly testing, iterating, and applying lessons learned quickly to future designs. A Crew Dragon static fire test is scheduled as early as November 6. If all goes well with the static fire, an in-flight abort test is projected for early December. If the in-flight abort is successful, then Demo 2 could take place as early as the first quarter of 2020. Starlink launch date set. There's also some new updates in terms of Starlink. Looks like we finally have a date set for the next Starlink launch. SpaceX will be launching a batch of 60 more satellites for Starlink Constellation, moving towards its incredibly ambitious goal to provide low-latency, high-bandwidth global broadband internet coverage. The launch is expected to be a milestone for SpaceX as it will be the first time the company flies the same Falcon booster four times. At this launch, SpaceX may also be planning to simultaneously recover both payload fairings for the first time using the newly modified Gomez Chief and Gomez Tree. With fairing recovery, Falcon is 80% reusable. As usual, SpaceX has a lot going on. The company is working on massive projects, all of which have the potential to impact the future of humanity. Starship and Super Heavy, instrumental in making humans a multiplanetary species. Starlink, SpaceX's incredibly ambitious plan to provide low latency, high bandwidth global broadband internet coverage. And of course, there's Crew Dragon, a US spacecraft that will return US astronauts to the ISS. This week alone, SpaceX performed a static fire test of Falcon 9 ahead of its Starlink 1 mission. Again, the company also has road closures scheduled in Boca Chica Beach for November 7th and 8th, as well as a possible Crew Dragon static fire test on November 8th. A lot is happening for SpaceX right now, and we shouldn't expect the pace to slow down anytime soon. We'll just have to wait to see what SpaceX does next.